So here's the question for you. Have you ever found yourself watching Shark Tank and there was a pitch by an entrepreneur that he or she wanted a million dollars for 8% of his company or something like that? And then you find yourself as you're watching the show that you don't actually know what that means the company would be valued at. So that is the goal of this short video. We want to make sure that as you're watching Shark Tank, you can understand exactly what the value of a company is based on the pitch by an entrepreneur or based on the counter offer of a shark. I'm Dr. Jennifer Winward, the founder and CEO of Winward Academy. And while I know that you're used to having me provide tips and tricks for math class and ACT, SAT prep and college applications, I'm really excited about this lesson because I think that reviewing percents is always a great idea. Sure, if you're prepping for tests like the ACT and SAT, but just understanding percents and understanding valuations, I think that that's a great skill for you to have for your everyday life. So let's jump into our pitch. Sarah and James Conklin are from Atlanta, Georgia, and are seeking $150,000 for 20% of their company, Healthy Treats. Sarah and James have revolutionized the homemade cookie industry by providing an all-in-one cookie kit that makes the process easier, healthier, and more fun. So here's the question to you, right? Pretend you're sitting, you're watching here, Sarah and James pitching to the company, or excuse me, pitching to the sharks, and they say, hey, we're seeking 150 grand for 20% of our company. So now, pause and practice, right? Again, I want you to learn this so that if you're ever watching the show, you could truly pause it in that moment and practice calculating what do Sarah and James think their company is worth. So that's what we're going to go through together is how to calculate that. So the first thing you have to do is learn the equation. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the price, right, basically the value of the money, right, the capital, what they're asking for, which is 150 grand, and you're going to divide that by the percentage of equity that they're willing to give up in exchange for this investment. So if you think about, you know, the money divided by the percent, what you'll do is you'll take that $150,000 and divide by 20%. Now here's kind of my extra fun teaching moment, which is how do we convert 20% to either a fraction or a decimal so that we can do the division. So remember, whenever you see percent, either the word percent or the symbol for percent, percent is the same thing as divided by 100. So 150,000 divided by 20%, you can convert that 20% in the denominator to 0 0.20 by doing 20 divided by 100, because remember, 20% is the same thing as 20 divided by 100. So 150,000 divided by 0.2, right? And so for the also one little extra note is that for the teachers watching who use these lessons in class, great opportunity to say that 0.2 is the same thing as 1 fifth. How do you divide by one-fifth? It's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of dividing by one over five, you multiply by five over one, right? You flip that fraction in the denominator. So a great kind of extra point to go over if you're using this in class. So for those of you just watching so you can play along at home while you're watching Shark Tank, 150,000 divided by 0.2 is 750 grand. So Sarah and James Conklin are standing in front of the sharks and they are asserting that their company is worth 750 grand. So let's see how the sharks respond. So what does Lori say? So Lori feels that the market is too competitive and she doesn't see the true differentiator. And for that reason, she's out. What does Mark Cuban say? So Mark agrees with Lori and can't even offer a value that would get him out of bed in the morning. He believes the market is way too saturated and he is out. Aha, but here comes Barbara with a counter offer. So what does Barbara think? So Barbara disagrees with Sarah and James that healthy treats will grow as fast as they predict. So she wants to invest, but she thinks that their valuation is too high, right? She doesn't actually think that they're gonna get the revenue that they're predicting, but she loves the concept. So she does provide a counter offer. So what does Barbara provide? She says, hey, I'll give you the 150 grand that you want, but I want 40% of your company. Remember, originally, Sarah and James uh, offered to give away 20% equity. Now Barbara is countering and saying, hey, I'll give you the same money you want, 
but I want 40%. So your question, what does Barbara believe healthy treats is worth, right? We know that Sarah and James think that it's worth 750 grand, but what does Barbara think? So we're gonna do the exact same steps again, right? We've got our price divided by the percent. By price, we mean that capital, right? The cash, which is 150 grand, divided by 40%. Remember, 40% is the same thing as 40 divided by 100, which is the same thing as 0.4. So 150 grand divided by 0.4 is $375,000. So as you're sitting and watching the show, you can figure out as you're watching, what do the sharks believe that a company is worth? What do the entrepreneurs believe a company is worth? Now, as the kind of extra special bonus, because learning percent change is critically important in life, but also for the ACT and SAT, I want to teach you one more thing. So as you're watching the show, I want you to be able to understand when Barbara counter offered, she reduced the valuation by what percent? What was the percent change from what Sarah and James Conklin proposed to what Barbara counter offered? So this again is a different equation. So the equation for percent change, remember percent change can be a percent increase or a percent decrease is the difference between the two values divided by the original value. So the difference is gonna be the new price, right, Barbara's counteroffer, minus the original proposed price by the Conklins, divided by the original price. Then to convert it to a percent, we'll multiply by 100. So what does that look like? Remember the new price was 375,000 minus the original price, which was 750,000, divided by the original price of 750,000. Again, we will then take that, which is 0.5, and multiply by 100. Oh, excuse me, it's not 0.5, it's negative 0.5, and then multiply by 100, which is negative 50. So if you get the answer of negative 50, that is a 50% decrease. The percent change is 50% decreasing because we have that negative value. Okay, so the hope, of course, is that you can learn more, you can connect with Winward Academy for lots of resources and fun ways to learn, and we hope that you never watch Shark Tank the same way again. Remember, pause and practice. As you're watching the show, just take the opportunity to learn and to practice calculating those valuations and calculating the percent change.